This is a strand piece created by the Dutch artist Theo Jansen. This is our mini version of the strand piece put together by. It has two major components an array of legs and a fan that drives them. The fan is a cylinder with six blades. It rotates in one direction no matter where the wind is blowing from. It is a turbo machine that harvests the wind energy and turns it into mechanical energy. It's a turbine. The fan is radially symmetrical. The blades at a low angle of attack can be approximated as airfoils. As the wind passes through the airfoil, it's getting accelerated on, on the top and stays at a relatively low speed on the bottom. According to Bernoulli's equation, since the height stays approximately constant, if the velocity increases, the pressure decreases, creating a pressure difference between the two surfaces that generates a force in this direction. Looking at this pair of airfoils, the net effect spins the fan clockwise. The blades at a very high angle of attack can be approximated as bluff bodies, where the drag dominates. Looking at this pair of blades, the frontal area is the same, but the drag coefficient of the top one is higher, thus creating a net moment also going clockwise. While invasive analysis can explain the design of the parallel wind turbine, the particular turbine on our stand beast has been scaled down so the Reynolds number of the system is small and the viscosity cannot be ignored. We use a software to illustrate the viscosity per system. With the simulation, we can see how the fluid's flow around one blade is affected by the presence of five others. The blades at the front of the turbine receive a steady stream of irrotational flow. By the time the flow reaches the blades at the back, the fluid has become turbulent and chaotic. Because the turbine's behavior is stable, we can infer that the effect of this turbulent fluid is negligible. So an analysis of only the blades at the front can fully explain why the turbine spins. Simulating the airflow over the blade at 10 different positions during its revolution, we obtain 10 vectors representing the combined lift and drag forces acting on the blade. At any moment during the strand beast walk, three or four blades will be experiencing the forces we simulated. By taking the crash product of each vector with the corresponding radial vector, we find the moments the blade applied on the turbine. The bottom row contains the moments applied by each blade, and their sum, the net moment on the right. It is positive, clockwise, just as it was in the irritational analysis. However, the low Reynolds number resulted in less lift and more drag on each blade, decreasing the net moment. It follows that at a low enough Reynolds number, the drag force will create a negative moment, causing the turbine to spin in the opposite direction.